Uh, we start from this uh, uh, lecture. I will discuss the two kind of uh, numbers. Uh, one called a signed uh, binary numbers, another called an assigned binary numbers. So since the unsigned binary numbers is easier than signed binary numbers, so we discuss an assigned binary number and uh, the range of the values first, then afterwards we focus on the signed binary numbers, okay? Uh, so for the unsigned binary numbers, which is a number, is that's no negative, okay, no negative, oh, which is a positive number. Uh, so in this case, uh, uh, still, so what do we use the a number, position number to discuss, okay? Last time we all said that whenever the number, you whenever the system, it can be represented by a sequence of, okay, symbols. Okay, so in this case, we still write the n-bit binary number in the format we have discussed. Uh, such as, uh, which is a binary number represented by the subscript two. Uh, the number is, uh, uh, so the, the most significant bit from here with the subscript, uh, which is n minus one. So the least significant bit, uh, the position is zero. So from here, this is a number uh, uh, n bit uh, and assign the binary number representation. Okay. In this case, the things each of the symbol represented by uh, x uh, with the subscript to represent the position of uh, that number. Now, for each of the x, i takes the value since it is a binary number, take the value either zero or one. Okay. Now, so from what we have discussed from the previous lecture, we know as long as we give a number in whenever the radix system, uh, its value, which is we can, which is imply we can convert that number into the corresponding decimal number d. Okay, d can be represented by. Uh, whenever the a, a number in the position times uh, the radix uh, to that position, okay, we add this uh, summation, we add this uh, up, then we get the corresponding the decimal number. Also, we can say we get the value of that uh, uh, binary number. Okay, so this is what we have discussed. Uh, in this case. Um, uh, since uh, an assigned binary number is all the positive numbers, we care about the range of that number. So you might have a question why you care about the range of that number? Because uh, yeah, in the computer architecture, you have okay, you, you have a number. Definitely you care about the range because you have to arrange your memory space. Okay, so in this case. Uh, the number, okay, which is in the range of zero, since that's no negative number, to the two to the n minus one, okay, two to the n minus one. Uh, so in this case, uh, we have uh, we have for example we have a number, which is uh, sixteen bit uh, a binary number with the sixteen bit. This means uh, your system has the data width which is sixteen bit. Okay, so you see. So in this case, we want to uh, find the uh, correspondent uh, decimal number. So in this case, just only based on when we have discussed uh, to obtaining the value of this binary number or converting that binary number into the decimal number. So in this case, uh, in the case of uh, we use the formula uh, for example, the most significant bit, uh, which is one. So the position of the, that number is n minus one, which is 16 minus one, which is equal to 15. So one times two to the 15 is equal to two to the 15, okay? 
So you do this for each of the bit. Uh, since uh, we have a sequence of zeros as long as zero times the two to the something, it will give you zero. So what do you have left, which is uh, from here, just only whenever the place, whenever the position, or uh, 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 okay, whenever the position of this number is in, it has the one, okay? So in this case, we added this all up, which we get the correspondent decimal number is equal to uh, 32779, uh, it is a decimal number, okay? Uh, so in this case, if the A is equal to uh, 32, uh, then, okay, so 32 is the, the data S, which is, if the data S, which is the number of bits to represent a binary number is 32 bits. So in that case, the D range, which is equal to zero to the two to the 32 minus one. Okay, to do the 32 minus one. Uh, this is the for the unassigned number, binary number, since an assigned binary number is really easy, which is uh, the unassigned, there's no sign there, or positive number. So we consider about the range, we consider about how can you convert a number for the decimal number, uh, to the decimal number. It's uh, really no big deal for us. Now, for the signed binary number and its range, it's a little bit uh, difficult than uh, an assigned binary number. So, in this case, a signed binary number is uh, a number uh, which is a negative. For example, the signed binary number, it has a negative number. Okay? So, we care about how can we represent a negative number in our... Uh, architecture, computer architecture, for example, if we have a negative number, for example, negative 1101, okay? So in this case, how can we represent, how can we uh, install that data into our memory, okay? How can, so in this case, uh, we have some uh, technicals uh, we have to discuss. We are not uh, necessary have the extra some symbol to represent and which is uh, in the case of uh, now now states is okay because as long as the technical developer so to current uh, so for the memory space complexity we don't uh, consider anymore which is uh, we ignored okay which because uh, each of the chips has uh, the can have the okay so tremendous number of uh, uh, the spaces uh, so in the so in the old days uh, this kind of uh, time complex uh, memory complexity way it's a really important issue we need to care about so in this case things for example two day two okay two data uh, we have two okay two binary numbers one is um, a positive number, another is negative number. One is in an assigned system, another is in a signed system. How can we don't use the actual memory space to represent the negative sign? Okay, so what are we going to do? We have some technicals there. So that is what we want to discuss. Okay, so in this case, uh, uh, we discuss the sign and the magnitude. Okay, so in this case, we get a binary, n bit binary number. So still the conventional way, okay? Okay, be careful. As long as we have a sign a number, okay, signed, okay? So when it's complement, uh, two's complement, we will discuss later. So be careful about this. So student, uh, sometimes students get confused about it. So for the sign and the magnitude, uh, this is what we are given is the uh, bit binary number represented by this, uh, okay? So, uh, general format of this binary number. Still, we have the okay the sequence of symbols, uh, sequence of okay symbols to represent uh, uh, that number. Okay, with the position which is indicated as the subscript. So this is a binary number. In that case, each of the okay x i still zero or one since it is a binary number. Now. In that case, uh, 
if uh, it is assigned the number, okay, signed the number and uh, which is uh, signed the magnitude, okay, a number. So in that case, how can obtain the decimal number, okay, corresponding decimal number? So in this case, um, it go to the most significant digit, uh, go to most significant digits, which is x n minus one, to see if it is one or zero. If it is, so this means uh, compare with the assigned number. So assigned number will be one bit less because uh, the most significant bit, uh, it is not the, the 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 value of that digit it is uh, the sign of that digit that binary number so in this case um, if uh, x n minus one is this is the most significant digit uh, it is zero represent that number is uh, the positive number if uh, the x n minus one the most significant digit uh, is equal to one, it's represent uh, that number is negative number. Okay. So in this case, again, so in the sign, we sign, we do the way we want now, we consider about the sign the number. Sign number, it has sign there. So sign, it has a positive sign, negative sign. Okay. So how can represent uh, the number, it is a positive number, a negative number. It's just only you go to the most significant digit to see if it is zero or one. Zero represents that the number is a positive number. One represents that number is a negative number. So the value of the number is a star from uh, the second most significant digit, which is in the index n minus two. Be careful. The first bit, uh, the most significant bit, uh, don't consider uh, for the conversion of the value from number. It just only indicates it is a sign the sign of the number. Okay, so here we have the example. We have the example of what we are given is a 16 bit binary number. But we said this number is in the system of signed and magnitude system. So we wanted to convert the Okay, this number into the decimal number also, we want to determine what sign the number is. Okay, so based on what we have discussed. So in this case, uh, the sign, we go to the uh, 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 digit with the position in minus one, which is the uh, most significant bit. Okay. So in this case, since it is one there, it is negative. So this means this number is negative. Now then afterwards, the rest of the bit uh, corresponding to convention, co co uh, converting the binary number into decimal number. Okay, so in this case, we get the this number is uh, in the sign and magnitude of the system, it is negative 11, negative 11. So we considered about the general case. We considered about if you have the your computer architecture with the data width, which is 32, okay? So what the range of the value, okay? A range of the value of a binary number, which is in the range of negative two to the 31 plus one to the, uh, positive two to thirty one minus one. Okay, so this is for the uh, sign the magnitude system. Now, second one is the one's complement complement 
sign the number system. Okay, so how can do it? Yen use the ones complement. Okay, so we give a number again. Okay, give number. This is m bit binary number. So still we have for the convention. Now correspondent uh, uh, binary number. Okay, so the correspondent decimal number for this binary number still. We go to the way in so first you have to determine this number is positive or negative by going to the uh, uh, a bit which is the most significant bit which is an, a bit a bit in the position of n minus one to see if that bit is positive or if that bit is zero or one. If it is zero, this means it is a positive number. If uh, the bit uh, is uh, uh, one. This means uh, this is for the okay negative. Uh, please excuse me for a moment. So, but uh, it is not straightforward as long as you determine the negative, then afterwards uh, you just do it. Uh, you just do the whenever the, okay, we pre present uh, the, the method of converting a binary number into decimal number, which is not the case. So, how can you do it? Uh, you have to pick the negation, start from the second the most significant bit. Uh, to the last most significant bit, uh, you have to do the negation. Okay, this means uh, you do the complement. Okay, as long as you get, uh, okay, you get a zero, now you get a one, you get a one, you get a zero. Okay, you have to do this. So then afterwards, uh, after this uh, complement for each of the bits, then you use the way, use the method. Uh, for converting a binary number to the decimal number. Okay, so this way you have to, first, uh, it has three procedures there. Given want to convert, uh, we want to obtain the decimal number by that number in the ones use the ones complement uh, way of method. So how can you do it? First, you go to that number and see the most significant digit. If it is zero, then you immediately determine that number is a positive number. Then you just follow the whenever we discuss the method to converting a binary number into decimal number. There's no any problem. But in the case that number is an active number, this means the most significant digit bit is one. So now by this consideration, you know that number is an active number. Now, how can obtain the value of correspondent uh, uh, decimal number for this kind of number? First, you have to do the complement uh, for each of the bits. Uh, Okay, the first the most significant bit we don't consider because that one is already corresponding to sign. Now go to the second the most significant bit to the last one or do the complement. Okay, so by this one and the zero get one, one get a zero. Then you get the result by the complement. Then you follow the method we have discussed to converting the binary number to the decimal number, okay? So that is for the ones complement. So for example, this is what we are given. For example, this is a, a, a 16 bits binary number. So in this case, we have a one here, which is negative. Now, then for a start from second, Significant digit to the last one, you'll do the complement for each of bitwise complement. Now you get a result. Now, since this is a sign, okay, you don't do any 
computation for the converting the binary number into decimal number. Start from this bit. The second most significant digit, digit to the last one, one by one, okay? So you're converting that number into the decimal number. So you get a negative 11, okay? I have uh, a question. So in this case, say it. So it, like a homework uh, a problem might look something like given this binary number, and you'd give us the one 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 zero one zero zero. Convert this binary number to one's complement decimal, and then mm -hmm. all we would do is because it's a one's complement, is invert every number except mm -hmm. this the sign bit will always Nine. be one. Right. But it's, if this is just only satisfy the case, it is a negative number. The positive number, if the positive number, this is a sign the bit is zero, the positive number just follow whenever we have discussed for the convention. Okay, so if it was a positive number, the sign bit would be zero? Yes. In which case we would not invert it. You don't need the inverter for this case because from this uh, formula you don't need the inverter. So you okay. still follow the conventional way to convert. Uh, start from uh, second uh, most significant digit uh, to the last one and uh, do the conversion. Okay, you don't need to invert. Okay. To invert. okay. I understand. Thank you. Okay. So this is the second one called the one's complement. Now we go to two's complement, which is this term is used in the computer architecture. Okay. So called the two's complement system. So two's complement system, as long as you understand the one's complement system, actually two's complement is really easy. Okay, so still we give an n bit binary number, which is represented by this, uh, okay, so sequence of uh, so the ones. So, okay, so now uh, we want to find the correspondent uh, decimal number for this uh, binary number in the two complement system. Uh, Again, you will go to the most significant digit. Uh, we find if it is zero, then we just follow the, okay? So uh, does that sign the bit, most significant bit is a sign the bit. Um, others corresponding to value, if it is zero, which is a positive number, we just follow the conventional conversion. Okay, so things start from the second significant bit digit to the last one. Now, if it is one, this represents this number is a negative number. So what are you going to do? So sign the bit, uh, you just put a sign, like this is sign, the sign, indicate a sign. Start from uh, the second most significant digit uh, to the last one, you'll do the, uh, the complement, uh, bitwise complement, uh, okay? So then uh, after the result, you add one. Okay, after your result, uh, you'll do the, okay, so uh, you'll do the, uh, for the invert for each of the number, for each of the bits, uh, you'll get the result. Now you then, this result, we add one to this result. Then it will yield the result. Then you'll do the uh, convention, you follow the conventional way to convert a binary number into the decimal number. Okay, again, the difference between one's complement and the two's complement for the positive number are the same. For the negative number, for the two's complement, it's we need one more step as long as to invert each of bitwise. You get the result, but you haven't finished yet. You have to add one. That add one is a step which is in the tooth complement system. 
okay and the way you get the result now then afterwards you do the conversion from the binary number to the decimal number okay so for example from here still we use the example now this example is 16 bits now this is the binary number we want to convert this binary number and into the decimal number in the tooth complement system. So in this case, we go to the most significant bit, uh, the bit uh, which is a sign uh, indicator. This way indicated this is a, a negative number. Then we start from the second most significant digit to the last one. We do the invert. Okay, so in this case, we get a, if it is one, you get a zero and a zero, you get a one. But the inversion not excluded that sign bit. You have to write down the sign bit. Whenever the sign bit is easier, just write it down. Okay, this is a sign that indicates this negative. Then afterwards, you get a result. Then you add the one. Okay, you get a result. You add the one. Okay. Add the one to then you okay you get the result now then you do the you do the conversion so negative you exclude that sign a bit you add the one in the okay uh, for the other one add the one which is uh, I said the other one is add in the the least significant bit okay that one this means. If in the system of 16 bits, uh, we have a one sign bit, uh, then exclude that sign bit, you have 15 bits. So add one, what I mean add one is add one, which is um, 40 zeros then a one, okay? 14 zeros then a one, which is add one to the least significant bit, okay? So by this adding, you get the result. Now, as long as you get a result, then you do the conversion, conventional conversion for these 15 bits. Okay, for these 15 bits. Okay, since you have 16 bits away, the corresponding to sign. Then you get a result. Okay, you get a result. So uh, now the result will be uh, a decimal number in the two. Uh, okay, by the two complement. Uh, so in this case uh, here, uh, it is an example uh, compared with the other uh, systems. Uh, uh, we have a uh, uh, number, okay, which in this uh, uh, column represents uh, a decimal number in the range of uh, 0 to 15, okay? So in the second one is... Uh, uh, correspondent uh, binary number in four bits, uh, high four bits. Uh, now, so uh, third column, which is uh, this number uh, represented by the in the sign the number system. Uh, okay, so correspondent binary number in the sign the uh, in and the sign the by a uh, number system. Uh, so still. If zero, zero, zero is zero, one, one, one is 15, which are the same coincidentally with uh, whenever the, okay, so the decimal number is, okay. Uh, then for the uh, color four, uh, five, six, are uh, all represent a signed number, okay, signed number in the different number systems, uh, okay. So in this case, when is the sign the magnitude, okay, sign the magnitude. Uh, so in this case, uh, uh, from here you can see. Uh, so for each of the binary number, it has a corresponding decimal number, which is in this sign the magnitude, sign the magnitude system. Now, uh, by if you carefully check the for this number system, it has downside there. Okay, so you find the two zeros, one positive zero, another is negative zero. In the reality, we for zero just only have one zero. There's no positive zero and a negative zero. So this kind of number systems, 
which has the downside there. So that is why we wanted to change into the, uh, later on we change into the tooth complement. Okay, so it has obviously has downside there because you have two zeros. Okay, you have two different numbers. Uh, however, this uh, represented by the two zeros, so one is positive zero, another is negative zero. Okay, so this is uh, the sign and uh, magnitude. Now, then we go to the sign, the one's complement. Okay, one's complement. So still from uh, corresponding the binary numbers, it has uh, uh, the decimal numbers. As long as the number goes to eight, uh, uh, which is, uh, or we have the most significant digit is one, now it is negative. Okay, or the negative number. Uh, so these negative numbers, uh, uh, yeah, we have now it's ranging from here. We have positive zero to neg uh, positive seven, then we have negative seven to negative zero. So this system still has downside there. You have two zeros there. So this is what we really don't want. So that is why we don't use in our computer architecture, we don't use sign the magnitude as one's complement. We use two's complement. Because for these two systems, it has two zeros there. Negative zero, positive zero, for what meaning? What semantics for positive zero, for negative zero? Okay. So in this case, this is both sides of these two kind of number system, systems. Okay, so different values. Now we have two a positive zero and a negative zero. Then we go to the sign, which is the sign number for the tooth complement. So from here we don't have. Okay, for corresponding values from zero, zero, zero to one, 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 one. Now we have corresponding unique number to represent. Okay, so in this case, the range is start from zero to seven, and then we have negative one to negative eight. Okay, each of the numbers it has correspondent unique. Okay, so uh, values in that system that is the system we will like it. Okay, we like it. Uh, so this is the example, and let you to see what we have discussed. Uh, for this uh, signed uh, and assigned number system and signed for signed we have three mass three kind of uh, uh, one is signed magnitude uh, it's simple however it has two zeros the sign one's complement also simple just only for the negative just only for do the order inversion inverted however from here, we have the problem in the two zeros. Then we uh, have the two complement uh, uh, number system. So in this case, we don't have, okay? So again, so computer architecture, we use the last uh, systems we have discussed, which is the two complement to represent a number is a signed number, okay? It's a signed number. So by this one, you can say, uh, so from here, we have mostly significant digit to represent a sign, okay? Still, this amount of bit, however, the range of this number in the decimal number is a little bit shrinked, but it's okay, okay? So for example, in an sign that we can have, we have four, four bits, huh? If it is, uh, your know, computer architecture has the number system, which is a data OS, which is 16 bits, uh, for an assigned number, we can fully use this 16 bits. But for the signed number, instead of 16 bits, we have one more one bits for the sign, another 15 bits for the number. Okay, for the number. Since we discussed these three number systems for the signed number, two are uh, we cannot use it, just only last one, uh, two's complement we can because from here. For each of the each of the binary number, it has a unique representation for the unique values for this. Okay, so this is for the comparison, the contrast between these number systems we have discussed so far. Okay, so far. Uh, so one thing it's real as long as we go to the uh, the we put this or go to micro processes. So this is a micro 
uh, complete architecture. So in that case, definitely you have a part which is um, yeah, it's uh, so this is uh, in some cases uh, we are working on the for example your computer architecture has the 16 bits data west this means that you have the your okay your data or 16 bits okay where the transform tra transformed from okay from uh, between the parts of the uh, components of the computer architecture blocks of the computer architecture uh, but in some cases, uh, in some cases, uh, you, will see, you, you will see later, it, uh, you have the data is not uh, necessarily 16 bits. In some cases, just only the bits is less than 16 bits. So how can you do it? Uh, okay, so definitely you're working on the 16-bit system, but uh, you are, in some cases, your data is not. So you have a way to to expand uh, this amount of bits uh, to represent uh, as the 16 bits but uh, don't affect the values which is equivalent away after your operation which is equivalent so how can do it uh, we use the sign extension okay sign extension so for the sign extension is um, you okay so for example uh, so this number, so you give a number, this number is in a positive number, okay? So uh, uh, it's, uh, so the number is in the, uh, so uh, so we have two kind of uh, system, one is assigned, another is sent. So we have, okay, two kind of uh, representation. One is an assigned number, another is assigned number, okay? For the sign and the sign number is really easy, okay, really easy. Uh, so in that case, so uh, you just uh, okay whenever you have, uh, you just uh, okay expand the all the zeros, okay, all the zeros for that number. Uh, uh, for example, so if we have a number which is two, okay, so you go to this, um, actually, this is uh, for f the first here we have, uh, okay, so for an assigned number, you just add zeros in the most significant digit, most significant, uh, start from most significant bit. Whenever the most significant is one, you don't put the one there, you put all the zeros. But in the case of this number is assigned number, you just expand this all the bits by the sign, okay, sign. So, for example, from here, uh, it is uh, assigned two is assigned negative two. So, in this case, for the assigned two, so in what we given is uh, eight bit. Uh, okay, now we want to expand it to the sixteen bits. So you go to this signed bit. You just expand the sign uh, to the this amount of bits which is based on the sign. Okay. Uh, so, if it is negative two. So here is negative. So this is negative. Okay, represent the negative number. So you just expand this uh, uh, based on the sign. Just expand this all the signs there. Okay. So uh, this is for the sign the number. For an assignment number, you just added all the zeros uh, into the okay into the left side. Okay, into the left side. I have a question. Mm -hmm. uh, for extending the signed number, mm -hmm. is that only for ones and twos complement? For all. Uh, using for the all. signed. For the signed, for a sign and then a signed. For all. So okay. it works for magnitude as well. Yes. Yes. Okay. For the. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, it is for the two's complement and the one's complement. It is not for the magnitude. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. It is not for magnitude. Okay, so it is to the, the actually uh, because uh, we already know the downside of uh, uh, these number systems in the computer computer architecture. We focus on stuff from now. We focus on which is the way mainly we which is we based on the two's complement. Actually, for the sign, the one's complement is still okay, but the magnitude is not okay. 
Okay, so uh, so this is for the uh, for this is for the uh, signed extension. Okay, so here we have a uh, 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 two complement addition. Okay, two complement addition. So uh, from here, two complement addition. Since we are focused on the uh, so as long as we have the number. Uh, we have a signed number and a signed number. For the signed number, we are in the tooth complement okay, system. Now we care about the tooth complement addition. So in this case, uh, we want to, okay, so as long as two numbers are positive number, they're just only, okay, represented as this uh, number, okay, so in the straightforward way, because this is a positive number, there's no effect from the conventional way, okay? Uh, so in this case, uh, if uh, it is a, a negative number, now, so for the negative number, actually it is uh, represented by the tooth complement. Uh, so in this case, uh, a negative three actually, which is, uh, uh, so you just, uh, so this is uh, for the one, then afterwards we have, okay, so, uh, take the negative three, negative which is represented by sign, then three, you just write the three, okay? One, zero, uh, zero, one, one, then you took the, uh, take the uh, two complement, which is one, zero, zero, then plus one, now you get the result, which is one, one, zero, one. Okay? So then afterwards, uh, so this negative three, that number is already in the, so we said we in the two complement addition, each of the number need to be two complement uh, format. Okay, then you add this all up, then you get a result, uh, which is add this all up. Now you get more bits uh, instead of now, since we're working on the four bit number system, system, so this bit is automatically dropped. It is not overflow because the result yield is correct, which is a positive three. Okay, so from here, there's no overflow. Okay, so what is overflow is you generate a result based on the, okay, based on you do the operations, then you generate a result. So that result is no longer your expected result. It, so this means your system overflow. If uh, you get a result, but you generate more bits by your system, that more bits will be dropped automatically because you are working on the, whenever the, the, the okay, so we're working on the four bit system. So the last, so the first bit will be dropped automatically. So you check the result. If the result is your expect result, this means there's no overflow. If the result is something else, not that you expect, then, it is the overflow, okay? It is the overflow. So in this case, uh, this is six, uh, uh, positive six to six, uh, there's no problem, you just, uh, so negative three, which you have to convert in the two complement format for the negative three, then you do the addition and you get the generated more bits. These bits will be over drop, will be dropped. Then you consider the result, the result is zero, zero, one, one. It is three. This is your expected result. Now for this one. So for this one, so since we do the addition, so these two negative number, you have to do the all the two complement format. So negative two, which is one zero zero one zero, then you do oh, one zero one zero. Then you go to the okay. So you go to the Two complement for this later for uh, three bits we get a one zero one you add one you get a one one zero okay you get a one 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 zero okay which is a represent uh, this negative two now you do the negative six again you get a result which is one zero one zero you add this all up now you get the okay one okay you get the uh so we get a one one zero 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 now you drop the one, you'll get one zero zero zero, and the one zero zero is a negative eight in the tooth complement system, which is no overflow. Okay, you expect the result. So for the last one, 
Possibly before you don't need to do anything. You just you just have the uh, correct correspondent uh, binary number for next seven. You just need to come. We need to compute to the tooth complement format. Then you add this all up. Then it will give you one one zero one. It is negative three in the tooth complement. That's not overflow. Okay, so this is the result. Now overflow here. Uh, which is uh, overflow occurs when the operation produces result that uh, exceeds uh, the range of the number system, which is uh, the value is uh, not your expected. Okay, this kind of result, uh, which is generated by the overflow, okay, is overflow. Uh, so, for example, if we get uh, Okay, so negative three plus negative nine, and we get the okay. So, uh, so by this computation, and we get negative nine. Negative nine is not in the four bit system. Four bit system with the range of negative eight to positive seven. Uh, so the result, see the result, uh, you do the tooth complement for the number, tooth complement for the number. Now you get a result which is not your expected. You drop this one, but the result is positive seven. This means uh, the result is more than you expected uh, because it's in the outer of the range of your number system. So your number system expect the values or fill in negative eight to positive seven. However, it is not the case. Okay, so definitely it will be overflow. Now from the second one, also negative eight plus negative eight. So two complement, two complement and addition, then you got all zeros. Okay, so it is really not expected. So these are all the cases are not expected. This means your system has the overflow there. Okay, overflow. Okay, so the overflow detection rule for the addition. So adding two numbers with the different signs can never produce overflow. So you think about uh, your, your do the addition. Now you have two numbers. These two numbers with different signs. Now by this addition, definitely the number will get smaller. A number is smaller than whenever the number we're given. Okay, so in this case, they definitely don't have overflow. Second, when the add two numbers with some same signs might produce overflow. Yes, that's because your yield result will be larger. If the result is larger than when, whenever you are, okay, whenever the value, which is, uh, which is value limited in your system, which is uh, your system just only have, can have this amount of value. However, you added the two numbers. Now the, the, the result will be out of range of your system expected, definitely get overflow. Okay. So we have two kinds of chances for the okay. So when the sign of the sum, so how can detect this if it is overflow occur? So in this case, when is uh, the sign of the sum is different from the sign of the addends. So in this case, uh, you have two negative number. You add these two negative numbers, we expect uh, the result number also negative. Now you get a positive number. So this is really, okay, really a, really a sign to detect, uh, a signal to detect that this is overflow. Make a decision, this is overflow. Because you have two numbers. Now you get generate the result numbers. That the result number with the different sign of your, uh, uh, of your addends. Okay, this is one. Second way, the sign of the carry bit uh, C and C out are different. Okay, this uh, also will be overflow. So here we have the example. Later on, we are will discuss this in menu. Uh, so up to now, I just uh, from here just gave the table. So later on, as long as we uh, discuss the adders, which is a block of your computer architecture. So in that case, we will discuss in details for this table, okay? So for the subtraction, the subtraction rules is uh, manual 
minus subtrahenda. Okay, so uh, from here, so we have two operands, uh, so uh, which is uh, around of the operator uh, subtract operator. So first one called uh, uh, manual, the second one called subtrahenda. So in this case, uh, uh, so as long as they have subtraction is uh, really okay. So uh, you can convert into the addition. So we we'll take the two complement of subtraction. Since if, for example, we have two positive numbers, uh, we do the subtraction. So in that case, you can consider the subtraction as the uh has the has the negative sign okay so by this way just cons you just convert that subtrahend uh, uh to the common to the complement format uh, as a negative number okay so now the man uh, manual the, which is uh, can do a okay, plus so whenever the subtraction as long as you convert the subtract and the, as the two complement uh, format uh, for the negative uh, number, now then the subtraction can be converted as the addition. So many old uh, plus the two complement format of subtract and okay. So you now then afterwards, as long as the conversion, now then you just overflow detection rules for the addition. Okay, two if the two signs of these two operands are the same, it might be the chance to generate uh, uh, the overflow. So it's by the the sign. Okay, the result the sign which if different uh, then it will be okay. Uh, the signs of a manual and the signs uh, and the the complement uh, co uh, complement the tools complement the subtract hand are the same, but the sign of the sum are different. So the result uh, because subtract hand now you convert it to the tools complement format of the negative number. So in that case, uh, now subtract hand and uh, then you have result uh, manual and add. That result of the whenever the format uh, which is converted by the subtraction, then you just uh, detect the overflow based on the addition. If these two operands the sign are the same, then you have if you the result the sign has different than overflow. Okay. So uh, from here, this is uh, procedures and perform a bit by bit uh, complement uh, of the subtraction. Uh, we already this is already we already described for the okay add the complement the subtraction to the manual the so add the initial carry in to the uh manual the, so in this case since you do you do the addition you have to do the bitwise addition you start from right to the left each time definitely you will have the chance to have a carrier. So you start from the least significant digit a bit to the most significant bit, okay, bitwise. So here we have some uh, tools complement the subtract and uh, okay. So in this case, uh, uh, I just uh, for the time I just uh, say use this example, okay. So later on, definitely. As long as you do the, you already, we already discussed for the uh, addition in details for many, many examples for the, this one is really easy. So since the positive four minus the positive three, now you change the positive three, uh, you, you consider about uh, this as a negative three and you convert uh, uh, to the two complement of negative three from here. Then you add this all up, uh, okay? So since these two are okay, since these two are two operands uh, in the later form, you have the one operand is positive, another one is negative. So in this case, never has a overflow occur. Okay. Uh, the second one. Okay. So second one still, but there's no. So there's no. Uh, the, uh, the the overflow occur because uh, these two numbers uh, in the late conversion these two numbers so now you got a positive number okay so 
because the subtract hand uh, is the negative. Now you have consider about negative and negative become positive. Okay, so you uh, then afterwards, uh, uh -huh. so in this case, uh, uh, then you do the conversion or okay? you do the addition. Okay, so these are all the examples. Uh, okay, so actually, this is the last page. Uh, so for this one, uh, let's say for this one, so this is a positive and a negative. Uh, okay, so then you get the result, uh, which is uh, uh, one, 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 one. Actually, this is a negative one. Okay, there's no overflow. Okay, so for this one, Okay, so up to now there no uh so no overflow occurs. Okay. Actually, this uh, when they set a sign, actually this is uh, the two complement form for the, this conversion. Actually, three need to be one one zero one, but uh so I'm one one zero zero and this one is added. Okay, be careful about this. I copied from book. Actually, don't confuse you. So this one is set carrying. Actually, this is uh, the negative three uh, two complement number. Okay, two complement number. Uh, for example, this is a positive four. You see from here, you just give you three and positive three. Actually, it's a positive four. You add this one and get one zero one zero zero. Okay, these all ones are all added as uh, you need to be added uh, to form the format of two complement number. Okay, be careful about this. Okay, so I think uh, uh, this is a summary. Okay, summary. Actually, so we focus on the numbers. Uh, okay, so we have uh, discussed the number system, such as binary numbers, octal numbers, hexadecimal numbers, uh, and the conversions between these numbers. Okay. Uh, so binary numbers uh, and hexadecimal numbers, uh, which is in appear in our computer architecture, actually so representation of sequence of uh, huge amount of numbers. For example, sixteen number system, sixty bit uh, system, uh, thirty two bit system. So even our computer now is a sixty four bit system. Uh, so in that case, if you represent your okay, and each of the numbers based so now, for example, how can you imagine uh, sixteen uh, sixty four bits uh, uh, sixty four bits number? You can trace this number, which is for a human is really difficult to trace. So we use the hexadecimal number, which is represented this binary number. By group of four at the one time and make a hex hexadecimal. Okay. So by this one, definitely it is easy for us. It is a hexadecimal number is a representer, but it's a representation of the binary number by group of four from right from right to left. And each of four bits can be represented by single bits in the hexadecimal system. Okay. Uh, now then we discussed how can things uh, conventionally way people get used to is a decimal number. Uh, so in that case, we have to discuss so how can obtain the, the, the values of binary number, hex decimal number, which is for the decimal. How can okay convert from a decimal number to the Finally, number has decimal number. This is we all cared about. Okay. Then afterwards, the way do the representation of the number. So in that case, we have two kind of number systems. One is assigned number. So this number is uh, okay. Assigned and uh, uh, is so first is an assigned number because an assigned number is very easy. So this means there's no negative number exist. Okay. So I I don't know if you noticed in your introduction to the problem solving one problem, I think especially problem solving one. And in the case of instructor introduce uh, the data types. So in that case, one of the data types is integer. So in amount of integer, it has three subtypes there. So one of the types is um, an assigned, but you didn't use frequently. 
might you might not don't have the chance to use it. Okay, it's an assigned number. So you frequently use the integer, inter. So so inter actually it is assigned a number. So it allows to use the, the positive. You can assign a positive value or negative value for the data type uh, for the variable created with the data type of inter. Okay. So in that case, this is uh, an assigned number. Okay, an assigned number. So uh, so we discuss the uh, assigned number and assigned number, especially we discuss the two complement uh, number. Okay, then we have discussed the operations on two complete number. Okay, uh, so in this case, you have to be careful about. Uh, so we discuss a way of detecting the overflow. Okay, so we do the addition and the subtraction. Okay, so for the addition and the subtraction, and we said that we have two operands. If the two operands and the yield result, if two operands has the same sign, the yield, yield result is a, a different sign. Definitely, it will, the overflow will be occur. Okay, so uh, it's occurred. So another one for the addition for the adder, I have I ignore the so adder. This kind of discussions will be in the discuss digit block of the adder. Okay, so uh, I think uh, I today I finish this uh, and uh, uh, next time I will okay go to the okay so. Uh, uh, first, uh, I discuss a little bit of combination of circuits. Uh, then afterwards, because I have to give you a little bit of preparation. Then after, then we go to VHDL. Since you have this kind of tiny knowledge for that circuits, then we can build the circuits by the VHDL. So that's why I put the combination of circuits before the VHDL design. Okay, VHDL. Uh, so the time is there. Let me.